Shalom. I'm sitting here at Ramat Rachel, overlooking Jerusalem, and I'm feeling thankful. I'm feeling thankful for this wonderful sunny day. I'm feeling thankful for Jerusalem. I'm feeling thankful for my health. I'm also feeling a little bit of imposter syndrome, because what am I, a British Israeli, talking about Thanksgiving? But I'd like to share a thought uh, from the Parsha. When Yaakov Avinu, Jacob, wakes up from his amazing dream, he makes a vow to God. And in this vow, he says to God, if you give me lechem le'echol u'beged l'ilbosh v'shavti v'shalom el beit avi. If you give me bread to eat, clothes to wear, and return me home, then I will dedicate my life to you. I will sacrifice to you. One of our medieval commentators, Rabbeinu Bachai, says, but really, what more do we need? We need bread to eat, clothes to wear, and we need a home. And he says something more. He says that, you know, in the world, God provides us with the things that we really need in the most availability. And the things we don't need are not available to us at all. For example, he says, diamonds and gold you need to mine into the ground in order to um, obtain them but he says the air we breathe that is around us all the time food grows in the ground around us he says you see what god has provided us with is our essentials and that when we really think about it we have to ask ourselves and when we think about our blessings and maybe indeed in this covid era we've had an opportunity to think about what is essential and what is luxury, the things we really need and the blessings that we really have. Let's go back to Jacob. We should be thankful for the simple things, the home that we have, the food that we have on our table, the clothes that we wear. And if we have that mindfulness to be able to think and to be thankful for these things, then indeed we will feel truly blessed. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you and a Shabbat Shalom.